Hello everyone and welcome to art class. Uh, today I want to introduce you guys to a new artist and a project that goes with it. So let's get started. Your project is going to be dealing with non-traditional painting or drawing surfaces. Uh, it's inspired by artist Elspeth McLean. A little bit about our artist here. Uh, she's a very talented artist. She uses dots and circles to create the most fabulous, wonderful works of art. Bright colors are her passion. She uses them to express every thought and emotion. Her main goal as an artist, aside from creating something that's just pretty and will last, is to affect people in a positive way by connecting them with their inner child. Um, as you can see, I have some of her works down here at the bottom of the slide and she's got lots of dots and circles, fun colors. All of her work is done on rocks that she finds outside. She uses circles because they represent unity and infinity. Uh, a little quote from her, painting dots became my technique for contrasting light and dark pattern and texture. It is also a very peaceful and meditative activity for me on a personal level. So creating your own art projects. I want you guys to create a project on a non-traditional surface. You could go outside and find a rock like Miss McLean, um, or you could paint on wood, you could paint on a box, you could paint on Paint or draw, it doesn't have to be a painting. Um, you can use whatever materials you can find to create, just not paper. Um, so step one, knowing your materials. If you have paints, those will go on any surfaces. If you don't have paints, don't worry. Like I said, drawing markers, those will work too. Um, paints can go on any, any material. However, if you choose to paint on glass or a shiny surface, you're gonna need to sand it or you could use um, spray paint primer if you have that available. If all you have is pencil, wood is really easy to draw on with pencil. Um, cardboard would work really well with pencils or Sharpies. Um, if you ever have questions about materials, try it out. Doesn't hurt to try it. Or you can always ask your knowledgeable, friendly art teacher. Um, so just a few example projects for you guys. So the first one starting on the left is a bunch of eggs that were painted for um, in like Vincent van Gogh style um, for Easter so that you could even paint on an egg. Why not? Um, there's bottle painting. Some of you did this with me in advanced 2D last semester. You could do that again. Uh, that little M&M is a rock or those cactuses in that little pot are also rocks. So if you want to make it into a sculpture, feel free. Leaving you guys with one last thought then, um, express and celebrate the colors of your soul from our artist of the day. As always, have fun creating guys. If you do have any questions about the materials or what you want to use, um, I just want you guys to be really creative and try something new and different with this project. So have fun. We'll talk soon. Bye, everybody.